And tonight we're sharing the story of the people who have put together these altares. And I met the Garcia family uh, a couple of weeks ago as they prepare for their altar. And let me tell you, it is just something so special, immersive, absolutely. Yeah, last year, Diana and Adrian and Garcia took home second place for their self-portrait shadow box that featured Diana's mother. And this year, the artist duo is taking visitors to a garden that's inspired by the strong women in their family and their heritage. Take a look. Sembrando Vida, planting life. The garden has a connection to our culture, our heritage, our identity. Diana Garcia and her husband Adrian are paying homage to the land they and their ancestors respectively played in as children. We are able to show gratitude for the hard work in the sacrifices that they put forth. Sacrifices at the hands of these matriarchs. Adrian's grandmothers, Lina Ramirez and Cruz Garcia. They lived off their farm near Stonewall, Texas. I always think about grandmothers, um, and this piece in general is about their garden of life. They would grow potatoes, corn, carrots, a lot of root vegetables, um, and just live off the land. They also honor Diana's mother, Maria Paz. My mother passed away uh, six years ago. So for me, that's still very recent and fresh. Inspired by Frida Kahlo's Casa Azul, or Blue Home, located in the neighborhood of Coyacan in Mexico City. We wanted to kind of replicate that um, and build a smaller version of her home, but still be able to step inside and feel like, hey, you went to Mexico City. The couple, along with their two daughters, Sofia and Gia, create works of art year round to add to their Day of the Dead altar and garden. So these two doors will be um, represented in the front. And so they will open up to where you can come inside to the hacienda as well. Everything is authentic. It's 100% handmade, even the painting, the paints itself, we mix them. To honor their roots and their loved ones, they believe eternally rest across the Marigold Bridge. Although I know that she's always near, but it feels like her energy is even more apparent that day. That day is near when the souls of Maria Paz, Lina Ramirez, and Cruz Garcia will visit the world of the living, guided back by the fragrance of the Cempasuchil flower. It's so powerful. Not too many people understand it. And the flicker of candles. They look real, but they're they're made out of pool noodles. And, um, you know, there's a little bit of glue to kind of represent that, that candle burn. To be welcomed and nourished with their favorite foods. Everything from the little cafecito to the, the Maria cookies and pan dulce will be there. Together, the Garcias have created a space to spotlight the roots, culture, and gratitude for the woman that shaped them. It's a beautiful tradition that we are going to continue to pass on to our family, and we hope that we inspire other families to do so as well. And how can you not be inspired by walking into this beautiful garden to honor the roots of their family? You almost feel like you're letting in them, you're into their home. It's beautiful. We'll, we'll be right be back. back. Okay, I got a